Welcome to Flip Lesson 26 for the sixth grade. Today we're going to continue looking at fractions and understanding how fractions work. And we're going to talk about reducing fractions with manipulatives. So as you work through this lesson, um, you'll have your bag of manipulatives to help you solve these problems. We want to start with the, the fraction 2 6. And we want to understand how the fraction 2 6 can be reduced. So if we bring down 1 6, and now a second six, um, and I'm gonna shift these so that they're right next to each other. We can see we have uh, a shape that looks pretty much like this. And so that's what two six look like. Now as we look up at the top of our screen, we can see that the one third has a very, very similar shape. And if we were to bring it over, and flip it real quick, we would see that maybe it's not going to flip for me. That our one third is equal to two six. All right. And so by using manipulatives, we can see that two six is equal to one third. And so we have an example of how to use manipulatives to help us um, reduce fractions. Okay. The other way we can use manipulatives is it can help us understand fractional parts of a circle and how percentages get added in. If I have two thirds, that's a one third plus another one third we need to figure out what percentage that is. And our manipulatives tell us what the percentages are. And so since we know that it's 33 and 1 third here and 33 and 1 third here, we can add those two together. So that would be adding the 33s together, adding the 1 thirds together for a total of 66 and two-thirds. At the same time, we can look at another idea. What is two-sixths of a circle is what percentage of a circle? Right. So we can bring down our six, one, two, and, oops, wrong direction. And once again, we can add up our two numbers, 16 is and 2 thirds, and 16 is 2 thirds. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds. All right, so I got the 2 thirds here, 2 thirds here, and that becomes 4 thirds, or in other words, 1 and 1 third. And then we're going to take 16 plus 16, which is 32. And then we're going to add that to this right here. We got to add these two ideas together then, which is going to give us 33 and one third percentage. Right? And so we can easily figure out those ideas. The other thing we want to look at is looking at mixed numbers and figuring out how to add and subtract them. We started doing that a little bit, but we're going to do a little bit more. It says Cecil lives one and three fourths miles from the soccer field. He rode his bike from home to the field and back to home. How far did Cecil ride? So we started here, right? I can even make a nice, beautiful house. And he rode to the soccer field, right? Here's our soccer field, all right? Not to scale. And then he rode from the field back home again. Now it tells us that this distance is one and three fourths which means this distance must be 1 and 3 fourths. And so if we're going to add those two together, we're going to take 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. Right? Denominator is the same and becomes 6 fourths, and 1 and 1 becomes 2. Now, of course, this here, our 6 fourths, is an improper fraction, so we're going to reduce that. And 6 fourths by itself is going to equal um, 1 and 1 half. Right? So 4 goes into 6 one time, which gives me a remainder of 2. 2 over 4 becomes 1 half. And to end the problem, now I'm going to add this back in with our 2, um, which is going to equal 3 and 
a half, and then we got to, of course, add our label of miles. And so we have that idea for this problem. Okay. We can then take it from addition into subtraction, and we can have a problem like this. If subtracting um, mixed numbers this way is not the way you prefer, you can definitely move your 3 and 1, 6 right here um, and see it like this in a, a vertical fashion. And so we're going to take the, our fraction is going to stay the same with our denominator. And then we're going to take 5 minus 1, which is going to give us 4. And then 6 minus 3, which is going to give us 3 and 4, 6. And so as we look at 3 and 4, 6, we realize that 4, 6 is not a reduced fraction. And so we're going to reduce that fraction. So our final answer is going to be 3 and 2 thirds. All right. As we took the time to divide a 2 from the top and the bottom to get to our 2 thirds. And so we have those different ideas. Again, I'll leave you with a sample to work with um, adding, subtracting mixed numbers. And you'll use your manipulatives to help you with understanding reducing fractions. That's it for lesson 26.